Welcome back to the channel guys, Judo Sloth here. I hope you're having a good one. Today I am going to show you the best Town Hall 11 attack strategy right now. It is the hybrid attack, so let's go ahead and dive straight into this. The hybrid, obviously a very popular attack strategy right the way through the game from Town Hall 10 and above using the Hog Riders and the Miners. Now the first thing that you need to be aware of is that a queen charge is most certainly the best method. If you're not doing a queen charge, you're not doing it right. So in this one, we have the queen funneling for herself the rage spell being used to encompass the healer's and the queen. Now, ultimately, you want the rage to be in place for the longest amount of time. So as the queen takes down the defenses in the center here, she can walk around the base and then in towards the eagle artillery. We will get to the eagle artillery. It is the most impactful defense at Town Hall 11 that you have to get down. Now, guys, if you do want to see all of my Town Hall 11 videos, I've got a playlist. It's briefly on your screen here now. If you go down into the pinned comments, it will be there and you will be able to see all of the strategy videos for Town Hall 11 specifically. But let's get back into this one. The Queen Charge is going to be able to get right into the center of the base here due to the jump spell. Often you might use a jump spell. Arguably you could try wall breakers, but in this situation, when we just want the Queen into this central area, there's no point in trying to wall break. Wall breakers attract buildings. That's what they go for, not wall Walls specifically so they might come for this wall first then you'd have to get through the next one you could use the rage spell but funneling as well might be a little bit more tricky just use the jump if need be guys that's why the barbarian king has cut the funnel down the bottom here to drive the queen in over it's relatively simple and I do love the use of the baby dragon here as well just to take that down check out how much value that baby dragon gets gets the archer tower and also gets the cannon now this is really important as we zoom out and as we take a second just to step back and showcase to you where we are at at this stage we're thinning out the base funneling for the hybrid and the well the hogs and the miners is incredibly important you've got to get that the cc troops depending on what's in there if you know what's in there you might want to take it out with your queen and in this situation most definitely an ice golem is there to slow down miners and hogs so that they can get damaged and a dragon the miners can't fight back most cc's the miners can fight back that's why you don't always have to take down the enemy queen your miners can deal with it and that's the beauty of the miners and hogs together but a dragon you definitely need down and that's why the queen takes this one out now what i really like about this attack and why i wanted to put it first i do have a couple of other ones which showcase the hybrid in a slightly different way is that the archer queen on this one the defending queen does not go down but it proves to you the eagle artillery being the main defense and ruthless does a brilliant job of it here notice how the miners are coming directly into that area so the queen unfortunately comes off down the bottom here if she could have got the eagle i think the plan very well might have been to bring the hogs and miners in from the side but ultimately because we need that eagle artillery down that's why they have to come into the center and the siege barracks at the top with the hog riders does a really good job at setting up the funnel so that the main bulk of the hogs and miners just come straight in now the queen can continue doing her job down to the bottom but like i said enemy queen does not go down it doesn't matter look at how quick the miners got through that they shredded that area and they continue to do so as the hogs now join into the party they move forward and it just works really well that's where the funneling initially helped the hogs and miners move from one area of the base to the next meanwhile the archer queen was coming down the other side there so if you can get your hogs and miners in quick enough to protect the queen then certainly you want to try and do that but don't forget about the outside buildings keep your hogs and miners on the inside of the base i hope that made sense guys but the next attack will reinforce exactly what we've just explained
This attack really breaks down the hybrid well, and the reason hybrid is my number one right now is because Ruthless50 won the recent Town Hall 11 community tournament. This was all ran by the Town Hall 11 community. I will drop their Discord server down below in the description of this video. There's Discord servers for different Town Hall level communities, guys, which is pretty cool, but they pretty much won the tournament single-handedly with the hybrid. It was their most used strategy by a long shot so that's why I wanted to break it down for you now in this one a queen charge again used the queen charge honestly you just you want to be using it if you're not using a queen charge make sure you're practicing it it works brilliantly for the hybrid and a ton of different strategies on this one we charge her in towards the eagle artillery remember the eagle it's the main defense at town hall 11 and the clan castle is also there you never know what's going to be in that clan castle if it's a fresh hit and for the hogs and the miners because it is such a popular strategy right now that's why people are bringing cc's with the ice golems potentially the dragon like you've seen in that first attack you've just got to watch out for it guys obviously if you know what's in there you might be able to get away without it so our barbarian king down to the bottom takes out the town hall which is i mean it's relatively okay getting that two star it's not the sole purpose but it's really just to start things off now if we can get a multi inferno which we do that's obviously a bonus any splash damage you want to be careful for the hogs and the miners in this one we're just taking our time making sure the clan castle is down making sure the queen will get to that eagle artillery then it's all a case of picking where to bring the hybrid in from now arguably we could have set the funnel on the bottom here with the siege barracks and brought the hogs and miners straight into this area Area. it's relatively um like a six and two three situation here because ultimately even if we take the top area which is what we do and the hogs and miners come through it helps to protect our queen a little bit more arguably because well she's going to be under immense damage at the top and would go down so that's why it maybe comes in from the top but we are going to get to the multi at the same time let's say this multi was down to the six o'clock area you'd probably want to come into that first so prioritize them dangerous defenses eagle first multi infernos look at the base you need that pathing but you've got to get them down asap now the rage spell is used and unfortunately because it came in late in combination with the queen's ability that's because the focus had been shifted to setting the funnel for the hybrid so in the end it's a really good job that the hybrid comes in next to the archer queen otherwise she would not have survived that area by herself and it needed to come into the top to drive the queen back around to the eagle but you get the idea guys i wanted to educate you a little bit before on why you might choose different areas of the base to bring the hybrid in from but ultimately the main thing is funneling if you've got pathing for the hybrid you can then prioritize from there but the pathing is the main thing then you're looking at what defenses you can get from that area coming down to the end of it grand warden's ability used rather late but they get right of the way through here the major damage was at the top there with the multi and the two wizard towers we still got troops coming around the outside of the base that's the beauty of the siege barracks if you don't have it obviously it is a little bit more difficult it still does work but you'd have to be using your king on that other side to funnel but let's get to the final attack now, I feel like this attack really summarizes things for the hybrid. It shows a couple of things going wrong, but ultimately it allows you to see the pathing really well for that hybrid. And then after this one, I will link you to a previous Town Hall 11 video I did, which I know will be helpful for you guys. So the Queen Charge is driving into the first multi-target area. But again, think of them main defenses we talked about the eagle artillery the clan castle the archer queen you can somewhat deal with but check it out ice golems in there again now that is primarily used to try and slow down the hogs and the miners anything that's in there slow down the queen charge as well granted but if you've got miners and hogs getting frozen in the middle they're just going to go down incredibly fast so you've got to take them out first so the clan castle's done 
dealt with. Moving forward towards the Eagle, notice the Archer Queen is there as well. That's a bonus, but again, if you don't get her, the Miners can deal with the Archer Queen. There is a lot of damage onto our Archer Queen here, though, with the Expos. Three of them locked onto the Queen, so you've got to get the Rage spells in. Her ability still intact, but as long as the Eagle Artillery goes down, that is your main thing. And if you don't get the Eagle with the Queen, let's pause very quickly so I can finish my comment and then go to show you the pathing as well. If you can't get the eagle with your enemy, with your attacking queen, obviously in this case we do, but if you can't, it's got to be the priority of your hogs and miners. Try and get them to that ASAP. But let's look at the pathing on this one. So we've got the siege barracks used to the 10 o'clock section here. Now this is pretty important. I want to explain this to you. Why would we not place it at 12 o'clock to start taking this area out and drive the hybrid in? Well, the reason for that is because it would take out this area, there's a chance it gets caught on the wall, but also it would only get down to, let's say, here. And then as the hogs come through with the miners, they then get caught to this 9 o'clock section before they come around to the 6 o'clock area. Whereas if we use it here, it's got a better chance of wiping out all of this. And even though the hogs and the miners come in wide initially, they keep themselves moving through the base down to the bottom multi-target inferno. So you always want to set up your funnel further around slightly than what you might think. Because the hogs and the miners can funnel for themselves initially and then merge together. And arguably, we even lost some of the wizards here as well. Look, we could have really done with them coming down to the bottom. But as long as you can keep your hogs and miners funneled down and to the multi, to the center of the base as best as possible, then that's exactly what you need. The wizards do indeed come to help out at the end. But check out the hogs and miners. They have perfectly been funneled down to the multi-target inferno, which is exactly what you want. Again, keep them on on the inside of the base. Keep the wizards clearing the outside and the hogs and miners coming through. So I hope this video has helped to break down the best Town Hall 11 attack strategy, the hybrid. Really show you that the queen charge it's epic. Take out the clan castle troops, take out the eagle, and create pathing. They're your three objectives. Use the siege barracks if you can to create pathing for that hybrid, or your barbarian king might be a good idea. In most of the examples on this video, we use the king to cut off the funnel at the other side for the queen charge. You can always use a baby dragon for that. Use the king to set the funnel for the miners and hogs. If you don't have a siege machine, obviously the siege barracks is amazing. Another three star GG. If you do want to see more Town Hall 11 attacks, I check out this video, but until next time, peace out.